E.T. Final Score is brought to you by Ashley Furniture. Hey guys, I'm Brandon Davidson and it's time to make the donuts. Uh, here are the trending topics uh, for today in social media. Yesterday I told you guys that the new iPhone uh, was set to release um, tomorrow, so they'll make that announcement on the new uh, slate of iPhone, um, as well as um, some new iPods. Some pictures I saw today look like there could potentially be an iPad mini uh, that's released in a couple of weeks pr uh, after um, the iPhone, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Here's a picture of that bad boy. Um, yeah, I'll have to get my hands on that and see uh, how I like a smaller um, iPad. Um, a lot of us are on Facebook and we're active on social media, but maybe we're not all honest about the profile picture we put up. Maybe we're 20, 30, 40 pounds lighter um, then than we are now in the picture. Or maybe we put up a picture from a couple years ago, or maybe we go in Photoshop and smooth out some of those creases and wrinkles in our face. Well. Plastic surgeons are saying that they've noticed an increase in people coming in uh, and getting Facebook facelifts. Basically, it's $300 a procedure, and it takes uh, six to eight months for you to have all the procedures done, but it's a Botox-like uh, treatment, so uh, maybe you should do that. Uh, I'm not going to. I don't think there's much you can do to make me look better. GoDaddy.com had major issues yesterday. For about 12 hours, um, Many of their 52 million sites were knocked offline, including our ET Final Score. It's back now, so be sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, a, a hacker, uh, as a part of a group called Anonymous, uh, brought down a ton of sites yesterday. But it looks like almost all of uh, their sites are back, and it looks like the disruption is, uh, has stopped. Um, you may remember this picture from yesterday. Uh, this pizza shop owner uh, picked up President Obama, gave him a big bear hug, and uh, his uh, page on Yelp has just blown up. Uh, people have uh, taken to Yelp and given him reviews. Many, many, many five-star reviews and many, many, many one-star reviews. He has over 2,500 reviews in the last 48 hours. So you can go to Yelp uh, and check that out. Uh, also, YouTube has released uh, a brand new iOS app uh, for the iPhone and iPad. Uh, you can check that out. Um, when the iPhones originally came out, the YouTube app was the default uh, video app, but that's not the case anymore as Google and Apple continue to go head to head with Android versus the iOS. But this new YouTube will be a standalone app that you download for your iPhone. It has a more robust, a larger library of videos, and it is more shareable than the previous version of this app. So if you're watching a video of a cat playing the keyboard, you can share this thing on Twitter, Facebook, with me. Uh, at bdavidson at tylerpaper.com. Uh, I love to watch those videos. Um, yeah, so I will be here almost every day sharing with you guys what's trending in social media. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Tyler Paper or check us out on Facebook, uh, Tyler Paper on Facebook. So again, I'm Brandon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.